Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Binding of Isaac. We're just, we're just doing a vanilla run today. Random gave me Isaac. I promise I did hit the R key. So we'll play an Isaac run. Uh, oh my god. Alright, first item room, Mom's Knife. I guess that's what happens sometimes. So, right now, I'm real exhausted. Had a pretty busy day of stuff, and then, uh, you know, nearly three hours of streaming Paranautical Activity with devs. That was my first foray into YouTube streaming, which went pretty well, honestly. Like, I definitely, definitely had a good time with it. It wasn't as terrible as everyone makes it out to be. But also keep in mind the fact that I don't have enough viewers for it to be like, the YouTube chat is both useless and unreadable, whereas, you know, it was actually relatively useful for me. I could read it and stuff. So, uh, since we've gotten this crazy luck, I'm gonna have to take a bunch of extra crazy risks. Just because we know the secret room's here because it was next to the curse room. And in it we get a bunch of money, which puts us over 15 cents. Unfortunately, we don't have another bomb, so we can't go to the shop, which I believe was right next to us. And so what we're gonna be looking for in this run is a bunch of range-ups. Which is funny to say, but, you know, as we've recently learned, that does make Mom's Knife do more damage. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to reroll the health up, though. Definitely want that. And uh, we're going to see what happens with this. Don't have any keys, so I can't go to that item room conveniently right next to me, but, you know, can't win them all. So yeah, Paranautical Activity, the update is out. That means videos will resume. I'll probably be doing another stream with Mike and Travis sometime in the near future just because, um, you know, I can. And I want to get at least a little more familiarity with the um, patch without being limited to uh, relatively short videos. And no, I don't want to do really long videos of it. I like the whole thing where I'm keeping most videos between 20 and uh, 45 minutes or so. So, um, you know, that's going to be kind of the goal, and then I'll just do streams for longer. Now that I can stream on YouTube, I probably will be doing that. Health up is awesome. Friends till the end gives us three kamikaze flies, which do twice our damage. I don't know how much damage that is with Mom's Knife. Anyway, I'm going to play the Skull game here. And just hope for some keys, honestly. But I am not going to use... Um, I don't know what I wasn't going to use. Oh, my only bomb to blow stuff up. Give me a key. Oh my goodness. Give me something I can work with. Jeez. I just don't want to be missing out on an item room, you know, even though I already have Mom's knife. Wow, I haven't won a single time here. It's because I haven't picked right. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if I picked right or not. Please let me win the keys. Oh, thank God. Alright, so we're out of here. We're going to go to the item room, see if we can get a good reroll, pick up Polyphemus, and win the game basically immediately. Uh, geez, this has been appearing all the freaking time recently, and I'm okay with that. Great item, Daddy Long Legs. Uh, that gives us that shadow that follows us around. That's the leg of Triacnid, or in some cases, or sorry, Daddy Long Legs, and in some cases, Triacnid, which stomps on enemies, does pretty great damage. Uh, only does it once against Isaac and Blue Baby, unfortunately. But, you know, whatever. We definitely need Tears Up and uh, Range Up for Mom's Knife right now. Screw it, I'm taking the risk. Range Up, there you go. So that'll allow us to, um... Maybe not charge a little faster, but throw it a little faster so it goes further at smaller charges. Of course, there is a set maximum how to how far you can throw Mom's Knife. But anyway, that increased our damage as well as our speed of charging or something like that uh, and the damage is great if I had a little more health I'd go to the curse room again I did say I've got to be taking egregious risks and uh, you know we'll see how much famine drops for us of course we're gonna get a cube of meat which will rotate around us blocking enemy tears and damaging any enemy it comes into contact with and from the deal with the devil we reroll for the pact which will increase our damage tears and um, give us two soul hearts. It normally costs two red hearts, which is pretty great because it gives us um, two soul hearts evenly, but at a cost of one heart, of course, it's um, only that uh, it's a plus instead of an even. Kamikaze flies again, sure. Sacrificed a soul heart for it. Not the biggest of deals. 
kind of all right, basically. Uh, so yeah, YouTube streaming works, and it's probably going to be my default medium now since um, it does work. And, you know, I, I had um, twice my average viewers on average. So, you know, it just it makes more sense. And, of course, there are ads on that instead of no ads. Like, because uh, I'm not partnered with Twitch like I am with YouTube. So there's that as well. Uh, we have an XL floor, which means we get two item rooms, one shop, two bosses, twice as many rooms. So, you know, this is going to be fun, but we've got a lot of rerolling to maximize. Like that, and health up. Always nice when a health up pill is in the rotation. It really does wonders. Alright, let's see what we get here. D20, don't want that. And see what we can uh, do with the D6, of course. And until we find the second item room and hopefully a key, just keep on keeping on with the rerolls. Our damage with just one range up is pretty good, honestly. Isaac does start with pretty good range. Definitely better than a couple of the other characters. Uh, I do want to get back into Dark Souls soon. Not that I've been away from it for that long, but I definitely want to play more Dark Souls in the near future. This is a potential location for the secret room, and it's the one I want it to be. Gosh darn it. I'm just going to check here, and that's going to be the last place I check for now. Probably for the rest of the floor. It's just not really worth checking for secret rooms on the XL floors. They're just too hard to find. Oh, this is one of the rooms where Daddy Longlegs is feeling aggressive. Okay, back to reroll. Maybe we'll get something great. Polyphemus is uh, the nice touch. And, geez, what was I going to say? I had something in mind to discuss. Biter butt. Yeah, and don't really need that. Yeah, I had something that I wanted to talk about, but I just can't remember it. But uh, do look forward to Dark Souls streams. Soul Level 1, totally going to happen sometime one of these days. I was hoping that this would loop around. And indeed it did. Uh, let's see what's here. Kill the knight. Great. Let's see what's along the way. I'm real tired because it's it's late. Like I already said this, it's late. I've been busy all day with stuff. I had a life event, but we're not going into that. That was what I was hoping would happen, that I'd be able to get that bomb back and still check the secret room. I wanted it to be next to the boss challenge room, but it's just not. So whatever, man. Let's see what we get. Monstro's Tooth. Why so many spacebar items? Because, I mean, I guess I did get Mom's Knife on the first item room. So there is that. And that that is a pretty compelling reason to not get many more good items. Uh, let me think. I'm trying to... There, there was a comment or something that was coming up. Or came up. I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> we'll talk about something else instead. Keys are great. And we will be going to the... Why haven't I gone to the shop yet? It could be greed, by the way. 50% chance. Unless there's a mini boss room elsewhere. There can't be a greed in the shop. Or in the secret room. I always do that. Greed can't be in the secret room this floor, but he can be in the shop with a 50% chance. Alright, no greed. And uh, this is a terrible decision, but in fact, we're guaranteeing that we can get uh, two more cubes of meat right now, almost, I believe. Because uh, if it's the second boss of the floor, or the second floor boss, second boss of the floor is right as well, um, that we get Pestilence on, then we can reroll the first item into another cube of meat, which is pretty great. All we have to really do is hope we have a reroll left at that point in time. Uh, so, like I was saying during the stream, occasionally I will have, or not just occasionally, but I will have uh, three videos a day sometimes for paranautical activity, but Ratchet and Clank is almost over, so uh, we can go to a more regular schedule. All right, be something. Ugh, don't want the sack of pennies. Oh well. We'll find the bosses soon. Also, the second item room. Can't forget about that. Oh, good. Thanks. All right, let's get all these boom flies in a. Never mind. 
I was hoping that they would all come together a little better so that I could kill them all at once. Didn't happen. Another soul heart is uh, very welcome. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous that I got mom's knife again. I've been real lucky lately. But really, who am I to say no to it? I do it in some challenge runs, and I do it in some challenge runs, but... I mean, come on. Cut me some slack. Uh, let's see. Today, you'll see Ratchet and Clank. Technology... That's just technology. Which I... It just gets under... It, it isn't higher priority than... Mom's knife, so of course we don't have any reason to take it. It doesn't do anything for us. Which is unfortunate, because it's a great item, and I would love to have that as our item uh, instead of Mom's knife, but it didn't appear first. It would still be more interesting, though, for sure. Bob's Curse, I'm just going to take it. Poison Bombs is a pretty good pickup, honestly. And five more bombs, no problem. Totally cool with me. Oh, that was real stupid damage. Uh, so again, we're looking for range ups. <laughs> uh, almost time to do a ton more backtracking. Oh, that was close. Alright, Daddy Long Legs, calm yourself. There you go. Tarot card, what is it? High Priestess summons Mom's foot to stomp on an enemy for us. Does some pretty great damage, so I'm cool with that. Now, we have to see... I mean, I want to reroll here, just because I do. And it feels wrong to reroll technology, let's be real here. But I want... I, I Like, I don't want to not have a reroll for the boss. I should, but you never know. Yeah, Odd Mushroom. They, it lowers our speed, but it increases our health as well as our damage. And increases the size of our head. Definitely cool with that. Um... There are like four runs that you guys want me to rehash. If you guys could remind me what they are, I might do one of them. I don't know though. So uh, just let me know in the comments that. And also suggest a ton of clever challenge runs just in general because I'm feeling lazy about the ones that I have on my list. And yeah, that's about that. Let's go to the curse room. Alright, one of those is totally health up I think. See what you are, balls of steel, that's great. And health up. This is such an incredibly lucky run. Like, first five seconds I walked into an item room and picked up Mom's Knife. And we're gonna have that perfect amount of re-rolling for uh, the bosses. Okay, it's just gonna be a buff. Alright, so Pestilence is the first boss. I'm gonna not take the cube of meat immediately. And then fight the second boss. And unless it's meat, pretty much, I'm gonna, um, it's not meat, I'm gonna re-roll it, not to a cube of meat. Okay, that's fine. So we'll see if there's anything I want in here, absolutely not. And I don't have a re-roll because, well, I used it. And now we're going to go pick up our second cube of meat, which will turn our cube of meat into a ball of meat that just shoots along with us while still maintaining all of its previous functions. Uh, the stem cells was a, uh health up that also gave us a half heart recovery and I believe possibly a shot speed up and yes re-rolling the coin purse not my happiest thing considering that we've seen a lot of health up pills so far so that would have been great but uh, too bad essentially is uh, the way things are going alright the game finally unfroze and we'll see what the depths one hopefully depths has to offer us Necropolis one, of course. But, you know, at least the run's going so well that that's probably not going to be that big of a deal. Alright, so we've just gone through three rooms in a row that were absolutely nothing. And finally, combat. Yeah, you stay away from me, you monster. Ah, that was close as well. Of course, we're just looking for the item room, hopefully before anything exciting happens. As in, hopefully before we get a D6 charge. Unfortunately, that is not the case. Alright, don't... Oh, you shot at me. Let's see what this is. Two of diamonds doubles our money. That means we want to go to the shop, which is right here. Shop, of course, 100% chance to contain greed unless he is uh, in the secret room, which is a 33.3 .3 repeating percent chance. 
Uh, we'll absolutely re-roll the ladder for the treasure map, which shows us the full map and the secret room, but not the top secret room. So yeah, that's I'm happy with that pickup. Leave me alone, mask. No. So that went terribly, but I guess that is why we have lots of health. I'm about to sneeze. I can feel it. It might not happen, but it feels like it currently, and uh, that means that you're on warning that I could just disappear abruptly for a few seconds and you'll hear a sneeze in this background. So yeah, as, as we said, 33.3 repeating percent chance, or one-third if you prefer. I'm not going to take the steam sale because there's only one more shop. And uh, it can't be greed, we know that, but uh, I can reroll that for something in the secret room pool, which could be great, who knows. Just in time to get a reroll for the item room if we want it. No, we don't because range up is actually really good for us, as we have learned just recently. So now we bomb our way back in, we reroll, get Bob's Rotten Head out of the item pool, all item pools, that is. And I guess we have to go back later. Challenge room. Yeah, you know, there's the potential that we go there. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Vomit Grimaces. Great. Let's see what's in the challenge room. No thanks. Bust open this chest. Pick up a pill we haven't seen. Tears down. So we have a bit slower charge for our knife. Oh well. You know, the rest of the run's going so well that it's not that consequential in all reality. So, we go into the uh, great beyond here. That was well handled. Unfortunately, I don't believe I have any reason to go through there again. Because I can bomb into the secret room right here. By the way, picking up infinite keys is now worthless since I've already used them. One up is actually really good in our situation, having so much health. Of course, there's the potential that we get like Guppy's Paw or something, or just take a bunch of deals with the devil and thus lose all of this health. Daddy Long Legs, long legs can handle this. And uh, that's a Tears Down pill. We don't want that, but we do want whatever's in this chest most likely. Yeah, just making sure that it was Tears Down, and it was. So now we'll uh, perfectly have a reroll for the... Um, boss item if we so desire. Yeah, our charge time's pretty good. That's another... No, that's not another health up. Tears up. So that actually overcompensated us for the tears down because tears up pills and other up pills that um, aren't health are better than, the, than their concurrent down pills. So tears up, range up, and speed up are stronger than tears down, range down, and speed down, respectively. Which is nice. So, you know, people say, oh, we went even, but actually, you went positive. So, unfortunately, we get Pageant Boy, but at least we know we'll be able to buy whatever's in the shop on the next floor, and we know that it's not greed. So, that is happy days. Let's see what's in the shop here. Secret room here. Again, not greed. Don't need that. This is a real big floor, as it turns out, but we found the shop right away, which is totally a welcome happenstance. Let Daddy Longlegs handle. Oh, you didn't handle it, you fool. Alright, no need for that bomb. Coin purse. I'm just gonna buy it, just because of the potential for great stuff. Balls of steel is good. Uh, be good. Bombs are key, and bombs are key, and tears down. Uh, you know, really? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with how we are. Definitely could have done better there, though. So, uh, I would say that that was likely a waste of 15 cents, but then again, consider the fact that my money is most likely worthless for the rest of the game. There is the chance that we run into some beggars, but, you know, by then I'll probably have collected enough money once again for it to be fine. I've gotten two books out of the pool. Why not... There are seven or eight, so now we've got four out. Got six out. You know, we can probably get this into a double item room on this floor, as it turns out. Hopefully we'll just get a great item room item. 
and from there all our rerolls will be for the library which would be pretty cool and uh, the reason I was considering not doing that is because I was thinking about how there might not be more libraries but then again there also might be there are three floors where we can have libraries so um, it's not a bad option considering that there are not going to be item rooms after this floor so that was like it's pretty much a no-brainer when you have as many keys as I do so those are my thoughts yeah Chubb's pretty easy when you have something like mom's knife uh, we can get an eternal heart which becomes a health up well here's hoping right I don't know what books are left because I actually wasn't paying attention to which ones we picked up don't tell anyone you know I just told like 500 people or whatever however many people end up watching this our viewership has gone up to around 500 on an average video or more you know and so that's pretty exciting happy with that anarchist cookbook I don't know if it's the last one or not but we're getting there and this is some you know this is thorough good play in general guess I'll pop this and get some money that wasn't really worth it and I expected the item room is gonna be up top and the boss room is gonna be down at the bottom but it doesn't matter that much because either way I'm just exploring for rerolls essentially and uh, hopefully the item room gives us something that we just want to keep right away and it was the item room as expected I think I'm just gonna take the eternal heart because I don't want to backtrack so much more so uh, sorry that'll probably bother you guys um, Geez, I think we're probably going to give up on the item room because rerolling in the library is actually more valuable. We can get enough rerolls that, you know, we get two items in there at once rather than just one. It's pulling from the item room pool anyway. It's better. Although, the one thing I'm unsure about is if the pool is empty yet. So, I guess that'll be what we find out. Good luck, Daddy Long Legs. You'll need it. Oh, you hit something, but you didn't kill it, you fool. It's good on stationary and slow enemies, but not so much on, like, gutses and stuff. So, hey. <laughs> what can you do? Not too much. Spits and suckers. Let's see what we can get in this library. Now, of course, ideally, we don't lose the Eternal Heart. Uh, we have a great setup, so I wouldn't say it's unlikely at all that we... Uh, don't lose it that we get to keep it but I don't want to jinx anything so much backtracking sorry if that's uh, annoying at all for you guys but all right I wasn't sure if we had picked up the Necronomicon yet but I think that's our last item in there it should be as far as I can recall because the Bible's not in the pool for the library and other than that I think we've gotten everything so, um, unless uh, two of these rooms are empty, we are totally cool to um, get another reroll and thus do something beautiful with the library. Yeah, yeah. Come on. There we go. One, two. Well, two in a moment, but you know. That's... Oh man, we're cutting it close for the. Oh god. No, that was straight over a rock. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Um, I'd say it's likely that we're going to lose our eternal heart. Unfortunate. Yep, there it goes. Uh, that's unfortunate, but not the end of the world, considering we have eight health, which is actually a lot. So, last reroll in the library, and I expect that it'll be something reasonably good. You know, I don't think that that is a bad or stupid, silly thing to expect, considering all the books should be out of the pool. And then, you know, regardless of what happens, we can go on our way and fight the boss and finally be done with this floor, just for you guys. We'll pick up our first trinket, the Polaroid. Um, Mom's Eye and Shoop de Whoop. I don't want either of those. And you'd say, why not take Mom's Eye? Well, then I'll get more spacebar items in general. So, um, it's not good. So I won't take it. Works for me. Oh, it might give us small tears up. Then again, it might not. 
it allows us to shoot from the back of our heads sometimes. It's pretty useless. Like, not an item I'd recommend. Now, if that had been Mom's contacts, that would have been real good, but it wasn't. So, uh, you know, that decision was pretty much made for me. Great job, Daddy Longlegs. Uh, you'll note that everything has the poison cloud explosion, but none of them are doing poison damage. Only our placed bombs have the poison damage. Alright, let's do this the cheese way. Now the foot won't stomp on us. And, uh, yeah, we just got a free win there. Take our health up. Take the Polaroid and not take that health. Because we don't want it. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and say I have no clue where the boss is. This is a weird map. Uh, and what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So um, by not taking that half heart, we allow ourselves to get Polaroid invincibility if we get hit a bunch. Greed? Indeed. Greed indeed. Uh, now, I'd love to have the compass so I could know if there's a library. But anyway, no reason to want the steam sail. My little unicorn, whatever. Uh, I think I'm feeling pretty gutsy. So I'm going to just check all of the end rooms, honestly. Just because a library would be pretty clutch. Like, that would be very much game-changing. I guess I should check in here. Maybe there's a compass. There's not a compass. I'm not going to the curse room. Three monstros. Shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, they don't have much health. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. We're gonna have another reroll soon with our range, and actually, pretty much only range has caused given us damage. We've gotten the pact, but other than that, I think that's all of our damage up. And you know, two range ups is pretty good, as it turns out, in conjunction with the fact that Isaac has good range to start. I'm happy. Uh, we of course don't want Dad's key; it's pretty useless. We're just checking for libraries, man. Wow, we totally tore Fistula a new one, like, on that opening swing. And then we just took a bunch of damage for no good reason. But there are two half hearts, which means one full heart. And that's the boss. Okay, that's actually not where I would have guessed. Actually, it should have been, but it wouldn't have been. I'm not going to just lie and say, oh yeah, that was what I thought. Uh, I am just going to fight the boss. Skolex. Not going to be too hard. Never is. One of the easiest bosses in the game. And we get meat, which is an incredibly good pickup. It gives us tears. Small damage up. Um, health up. And uh, shot speed up. It's really good, basically, in all stats up, let's be real. Alright, this is our last foray back in here. We'll take Ankh, sure. Ankh is, uh, if we die, we respawn as blue baby. But I think 1-Up activates first. I'm not totally sure, but I think so. And remember, we're on the quest for a library. Simply because we want one. You know, that'd be a great thing to happen for us. Because that'd be two item rooms in one. Except we can reroll them both at the same time. How much better does it really get? I, I just, you know, I implore you to tell me if you can come up with much better. And this is a good possible location for nothing, as it turns out. Oh, man. Alright. Oh, I just missed. Okay. One of the days I was going to get the host. Excellent. Uh, so I guess the library seems relatively unlikely now, but we're still going to check the last end rooms. This is how you know you're powerful. You're doing the whole womb just in case there's an extra library, rather than finishing even though you found the boss quickly. We got a soul heart from the champion Larry Jr. as we were supposed to because it was blue. Unfortunately, there was nothing for us on this floor. Oh well, it didn't cost us too much. We came out ahead, really. So on the next floor, hopefully we'll have better luck and find a library. As long as there's no Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness makes me sad. So as I say that, of course there will be Curse of Darkness. Uh, look out, there's um, 
the potential of a paranautical activity stream tonight, I suppose. Uh, then again, I also do need to get back to Dark Souls. Because I want to start that Soul Level 1 run through. One of these days in the near future. Some money. Don't really care about it because that's a demon beggar rather than just a beggar that takes my money. Nothing to re-roll, which is really what saddens me. Uh, I was hoping, of course, for a library over here, which is why I'm going places where I don't expect there to be uh, the boss. The boss is probably in the top left. So we re-rolled Guppy's tail simply because we're not likely to become Guppy. We can't get any more um, deals with the devil, which is why we wouldn't expect such a thing. Um, and I don't really have any need for the more chests. Yes, they're good in the chest, and they're re-roll fodder. And I do have a fair number of keys, but it's just, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, you stay away from me. I, I don't like how the holy leeches don't count as champions and drop something when uh, the kamikaze leeches do. That just seems like kind of silly to me. Because the holy leeches are worse. They're huge jerk bags. Because they have the flies that block your shots and they just... I don't think there's any other difference. They might have more health, they might not. I can't say that one with any authority. Uh, thin odd mushroom, that would lower my damage and I don't really need the fire rate. Or the speed, so it's not worth it to me. So really, really hoping for that library. Bombs and a soul heart is good though. Just give me what I need. What I need is a library. You know how great that must sound from uh, any perspective other than, you know, the one it's in. Like, oh, he loves books. What a great kid. Uh oh, that was close. We do have a reroll now, so we'll go back and reroll that item because I really don't expect that there's another library in. at least on this floor. Maybe on the next floor. It's our last chance. But, uh, we got an item right here. Blood rights, don't want that. Get it out of the pool, and, I mean, there's one more chance for a library on this floor, and that's, I don't know if it's likely. There's the potential, but it's not, not really something I expect to work out. Keys galore, I'm real happy with those. Alright, calm yourself. Oh, you, you're not dead. I see. So is it? No, it's not. So I was right about the boss, at least. And since there's nothing else to reroll, of course I'm going to go back and reroll that blood rights one more time. I'm not going to complete the end rooms in order to get another reroll, just because that's very time-consuming due to the intense level of backtracking it requires. Whore of Babylon, literally worthless to us, because it's not, you know, we're not getting only soul hearts are down to half of a red heart. So it just, it bogs us down to have. So I'm not going to take it, and I guess that just means we don't get another item for this, uh, for the time being. Double Gurry Jr., they're blue, we get Soul Heart. As predicted. So, now we're in the Mom's Heart fight. And, you know, this should go fine. I'm not worried at all. And we have the added benefit of Daddy Longlegs actually doing something. As opposed to how it won't against Isaac. And our damage is really good, so we're now in the bomb state, and it's done. The deal with the devil is just a pathway to Shoal, where we're certainly not going, because we're very powerful. Alright, let's start looking for libraries, because again, the potential exists. And so we want to make every possible abuse of that, because there's nothing else we're likely to use our D6 on. That's not the library, but we have crazy damage, as it turns out. There's a coin there. Oh, no, it's a key. I should know those sounds apart by now. Unfortunately, I guess I don't. Guess I need to study some more. Studying the Binding of Isaac. What a strange notion. The only way to study this game, in my opinion, is just to be playing it a bunch, which is something I already do. I've very recently passed 400 hours. That's a lot. And I don't know if I'm happy or not about that. Uh, I am going to use my last bomb just because potential for more re-rolls if... Oh, it's the boss room. Oh. Forgot we had the High Priestess, honestly. Uh, I am going to finish looking for libraries 
just because I can. Um, yeah, we're taking a butt ton of damage. So that sucks, but, uh, you know, I'll make do. Wow! You know, remember, I have the one up. So we'll respawn with full health if, uh, worst comes, worst comes to worst. All these end rooms, there's real potential here. It was a full heart, I was not mistaken. Great. Of course, it doesn't really matter how much, um, how many rooms I take because almost no matter what, I can't get more than, like, one reroll on the pair of items. If there is a pair of items to be had. But, you know, it's, uh, two items as opposed to none. So I'd definitely go for two. Of course, in the chest, you can't have end rooms besides the boss room unless you make use of a glitch. And, um, I don't think I'm fast enough to use that glitch, and I've, I wouldn't if I could, because it might actually make you not able to win. I don't know. Soul Heart, great. Uh, last chance. Not a library. Took some damage. Um, like I said, we'll respawn if, uh, if everything goes terribly. Uh, let's blow this up. Blow both of them up. Never mind, I lied. Just one of them. What's this tarot card? The world. She great. I don't care enough to backtrack for it, which is why I just used it and wasted it. It would be great on the chest, but I'm going to have more fun exploring, basically. Even though I'm going to use the High Priestess on Isaac, most likely. Although I won't use it um, unless I respawn. If I respawn, I'll use it. If I don't, I won't. So let's see what we can do. We've got six hits and then five seconds of invincibility. We have pretty good damage. Um, Daddy Longlegs has made its full contribution for the fight. Uh, you know, I don't know. If we get the invincibility, we can get right up close and do, like, all of his health at once, pretty much. So I, I think that that's okay, and then we have our respawn. But, yeah, we're okay. Almost definitely. I can't imagine anything going so far off the rails that we die without potential for success. As is recent trend, Isaac spawned a ton of angelic babies, but we prevailed nonetheless. We got a half heart, which is worthless to us, but we're on our way. We've got a full quadruple reroll. We have 14 keys. That's, uh... <clears throat> All right, this and this are pretty good for us. We'll take this for the five bombs, and we got two rerolls. We don't want you, and I don't really care about Ghost Baby at all. Um, I'm thinking bottom left, so yeah, I'll go that way. Because, again, there can't be a library here, so it's pointless to explore more than we have to. Um, we don't have Guppy's Tail or anything giving us more chest drops. Oh, that was real stupid on my part. Uh, and we're, it looks like we're going to need to use our respawn. But the idea is to get as far as we can along on the floor. Uh, Gluttony would be pretty clutch if we could get the heart drop from him. Daddy Long Legs, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't do what you're doing. Alright, we're set. Everything is okay. We didn't get it. But we have that and another half heart. We have balls of steel. I'd say we're doing all right. The game was nice to me today. If I don't have to use my respawn, that's totally great. Though, um, yeah, there was no reason that I would want to. So, uh, yeah, I won't. I could double kill Blue Baby, I think if I were to kill myself right after killing him and then do the fight over again with my respawn because it would count the room as not cleared, I believe. But I don't think I will because I don't need to. Although we'll see what my health situation is at the end and then we'll try again if uh, need be. We'll just touch teleport to get it out of the pool. We will take infestation every time we get hit. We spawn uh, one or two maybe. Kamikaze flies again doing twice our damage which is pretty good. There is the potential that the boss is on the far right, but I think this is right. Ah, I was wrong. These things happen. 
I'm not infallible, and I never claimed to be. I didn't get that bomb. Get the bomb, you fool. It's worth checking, because it's only one room. And as it turned out, it wasn't even a hard room. Oh, lost that. At least we got the soul heart for uh, the blue famine. So we went even. It was an unnecessary room, but we didn't lose anything. We also didn't gain anything. One more room and we'll be able to reroll teleport again, which will be nice, I guess. Uh, in rooms like this, uh, by the way, the Celtic Cross gave us invincibility there. It's every time you get hit, there's a 30% chance you get invincibility for 7 seconds. Demon Baby, I don't really want. Let's see what's in the secret room. I was hoping for a slot machine because then I could blow it up and get an item. But, you know, whatever. No gluttony this time. Lust is the one you want to kill last in this situation. But uh, I figured it was easiest to just take it down, tank it. Heart is great. This isn't the boss either. I guess it's at the bottom. Could be at the top. I doubt it, though. I very, very much doubt that one. Alright, please be dead. Thank you. We got our heart back. I think we only took one hit. You know, down was one of the things I was like, yeah, it's a possibility, but it seems pretty unlikely. My guessing was off today. I'll say that I'm tired and that explains it completely. But we all know that, you know, sometimes you just make mistakes. Alright, now reroll two. Uh, yeah, I'll take three soul hearts because, you know, three more hits is pretty good, actually. If the boss is just above us, I'm going to cry. That would be the most ridiculous thing to ever happen, basically. Come on. Stop doing that attack. Because he's invincible when he does that, of course. Oh my god, are you joking me? Silliest chest ever could have been trivialized had I just been like, huh, I bet it's right above us. And watch that be a room that's just AIDS poop. It's an empty room I didn't have to fight at all. Watch it. Watch that happen. Derpiest chest ever. Didn't even have to fight. Instead, I went through the whole chest. Oh man, that's so, so silly. I'm, I'm a little bit upset about that. Empty room, essentially. I could have gone through the chest without having to make any effort whatsoever. Screw you, Isaac. But that was a great vanilla run. Please leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Make sure they're super clever so I have lots that I want to do, like give me a lot of clever ones. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.